before I even got here, my favorites was already from Virginia, and I didn't even know that. I just wanna sing you a lullaby, a lullaby, a lullaby. I just wanna sing you a lullaby, a lullaby, a lullaby. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Truly Fresh, and I'm rocking with Tide Water Waves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're yeah. Here. Appreciate you. Pull up. Yep, seven five, seven five, seven <laughs> man. Oh, day. Yeah, appreciate you pulling up though. You already know, man. Yeah, it's so a, it's an honor. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, you know, who are you? Where are you from? Where? Well, my name is Truly Fresh. I'm from originally from Buffalo, New York, but I say you know, uh, Virginia raised me. You know what I'm saying? I I I dove into this artistry in Virginia, so that's why I say they they brought the artistry out of me. So. If it wasn't for Virginia, I don't even know if Truly Fresh would be here. So definitely the birth of Truly Fresh in Virginia, for sure. Yeah, well, you know, as a collective, I'm pretty sure that Virginia appreciates, uh, appreciates that, yeah. you know, um, statement. Uh -huh. um, but what I would say is that, you know, Virginia um, as a whole, like you really have those people that feel that same way, but don't really express it. Word, and say that like yeah you know if I want from Virginia because a lot of people don't really take to the area. Word. So what I want to ask you is it what is your affection um, for this area and you know how has it transformed your artistry? Word that's a yeah, that's a dope ass question. So and I was just having the same uh, conversation on a podcast that uh, that I do called Space and Shine. We were just talking about you know how you not from this area but you feel obligated to, you know, to push, to push the scene through and, you know what I'm saying? You got that driving you. So um, to answer your question, um, man, Virginia just definitely just embraced. No, I say, I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. Before it embraced me, it definitely showed me to show me how to do this shit first. You know what I'm saying? Um, knowing before I even got here, my favorites was already from Virginia, and I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm up, I'm up top. My pops is like, you know, my pops booming uh, the Missy, the the Timberland, uh, the Eclipse. You know what I'm saying? We hearing those sounds, and then when you come here and you you fall, you still fall into the love of music. Do you understand them where you at? You know what I'm saying? Where people are really from? You just like, oh shit. You know I'm saying yeah. that's when shit was like really clicking for me. Then I was like, damn, it's like. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess as a kid, I always believed in, you know, like divine timing and like you always meant, everything is meant to happen the way it's supposed to happen. You feel what I'm saying? That, yeah. that kind of right there, like put me on that wave. So um, I say just the culture of this place and the art scene and everything kind of just molded me into the way that I was. Um, when I first got here, uh, I moved to Portsmouth, Virginia. You know what I'm from where? Uh, from Buffalo, New York. Oh, yeah. So from Buffalo, we came straight to, uh, well, we, went, we went to Buffalo, then we went to Syracuse, and from there, we came straight to, uh, you know, Portsmouth, Virginia. I lived in, I lived in Crawdop, went to James Hurst Elementary, you know what I'm saying? Then I went to Crawdop Middle School, then that's when I moved to Norview, right? So when I moved out of Norview, that's when I started uh, really, I guess you could say tackling the, the music in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like, you know, I, I, I could rap, you know what I mean? Like I can rap, I was already doing like poetry and writing like spoken words and stuff like that. But I never like, uh, you know, tackled music until I moved out Norview. And, mm -hmm. I, knew, and I knew I could actually do it. Uh, so like my, my neighborhood friend, uh, like Marv P, uh, we, I link up with him all the time. We went to the same Little middle school. Marv, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? We went to the same middle school and high school and shit, shout out Marv. But like just linking up with him, um, linking up with, um, with my my man's Mike Mike D we used to call him Snoop, uh, ran down. We went to the same high school together. You feel me? So being around people like that, um, Dev as well, uh, Mark B. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all heard of Mark B. He out here doing his thing as well. But being around people like that kind of just it made it accessible to get the music done. You feel me? Yeah. So my first studio session was actually uh, was with my partner, but we knew Mark B was a producer, you feel me? So we went to Mark B uh, garage and, you know what I'm saying, started doing our shit there. So, you know what I'm saying, just like, and then it's like now, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, seeing everybody doing anything, it's just really, really fucking fire and yeah. dope and dope to see. So I say I say my environment definitely mold, mold where I was. And then I linked with um, with Rogue Entertainment, that was um, OB Ghostface at the time and his team. And they kind of definitely put me on to 
to things that I can do more with my voice and how I can like pronunciate different things and being more diverse with my music or with my sound. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That kind of helped me too, to where it's like, okay, I was like, I know I can't sing, but I can make it sound like a certain way or whatever. And then we just dove into that. So after that, you know what I mean? It just just became a thing I always wanted to do, just merge genres together, uh, be be the innovative artist that I am. And that was the birth of Truly Fresh, like, you know, Truly yeah. Fresh, like everything just to be brand new, just yeah. to be felt, um, just on an emotional level, uh, just on a vibe level, and not necessarily just like on, a, on like a hip hop level, because you know what I'm saying, we all, yeah. we all like products of hip hop, you feel me? But just bringing that vibe and the essence of it, you feel me? Like, yeah, you here, you look like this, but what it really feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you really feel like, what you really thinking, what yeah. you what's really going on. So that's kind of what I always want to tap into, the truly fresh essence of what's really going on, like how you really feel. Yeah, so, yeah, smooth, smooth. So, you know, I gotta, um, you know, just wanna salute everybody that come on the platform, like you just being authentic. Yeah. And it's very refreshing, you know, no pun intended, <laughs> truly fresh, uh, to really hear, you know, these stories and like how things kind of make sense and add up. Oh, I got oh, so many, so many stories, yeah. like for real. It's but, like, all right, yeah. truly fresh. Okay, what is your story? It's like when you get to sit face to face like me, I'm not really in the camera. I don't really be you know, flying this and that, be out there. But I talk to a lot of people. I be, you know, kind of here and there. So it's like really hearing that, like it, it, it's dope. Yeah. Um, so getting bread backed up, I want to say that, how do you feel like beyond the pandemic and everything that kind of got slowed down in Virginia, which you're saying that you, you know, kind of took to, how are you feeling right now with where things are headed? Um, as far as like, you mean like uh, just the area, yeah, oh, the, the, area? the creative scene, Man, music. So yeah, I say I've been in this scene like, I would say ten years plus, like just doing it actively in my eyes. But you know, my peers would say like about like seven to six because that's when I like really got on the scene, yeah, and really started to like do showcases and things like that. Um, but like then. Dude, it was, I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was definitely not what it is now. Like, you didn't have so many avenues to perform on, to speak on, to uh, to really just construct your craft the way you wanted to. Like, it wasn't that many studios. You know what I'm saying? Everybody didn't know how to mix a record. Everybody didn't know how to make a beat. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I really grew with some of the some of the dopest artists the right people now. people that you, you know, collaborate yeah, you with, it's like, yeah, yeah, let's figure this shit out really again. Grew. Like, like yeah. I say, like for example, like Mike Wilborn, uh, aka Nervive, right? I met Nervive playing his guitar on uh, at the oceanfront. Like, you know, me and the homies would go to the oceanfront, bro playing his guitar with his Joan out, just doing his thing. Like, yo, let's let's freestyle some shit. That's how I met Nervive. Ten years later, you know what I'm saying? We we both, you know what I'm saying? We both doing our thing still, but it's a different. It's on a whole another level. You know what I'm saying? That I would say. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I like that we grew together. You know I'm saying, I was like, from the producers that's really like doing their shit right now, like that wasn't really doing their shit before, it's like, it's really a growth thing. Like everybody like literally grew together and like that shit's really like beyond me. Like I just be like, damn, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, because like I, I love, and I know I keep talking about the producers, but because I feel like mm -hmm. the producers, like without producers, like oh, that shit you know, matter, man. It matters so yeah. much. It matters so yeah. much. But it's like, yo, without without yeah. without certain producers, like you you I couldn't construct this sound, or you know what I mean. Like right. I I remember going, I remember looking up uh, radio instrumentals, like doing those shits to get my shit off. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, I wanna I wanna create my own my own my own shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. When you get into that, that mindset of really actually doing it, you know and we're saying it's like pay homage. So that's what I'm saying. Like the artistry was always there. Like as far as like artists and singers and you know things like that, that was always there. You know what I'm saying? But it was certain producers at the time that would only work with certain artists. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Based on yeah. what what they had going on or what it was. So me, you know, what I'm saying not really knowing the scene like that. You know, we had to figure our own shit out. So we linking with. Uh, we linking with, um, you know, 
uh, Mark B or I remember it was another producer. Yeah. I think his name was like uh, Five Eyes or something like that. It was like, I remember it was like only two producers in our high school that was yeah. really making beats. Everybody else was really like low key about it. Cause like, yeah, it was a competition for sure. Yeah. Like this is, this is, this is hip hop, this is music. But I don't think as at that age, I don't think people really understand or understood what was really like going on. Like, I yeah. think, I feel like only like certain people, we, we really knew what we really wanted to do and how we wanted to do it. Like, we just, we just didn't know how to form it into reality. You know to what I'm saying? It, yeah. Put it in motion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, like, I would just remember like, you know, just being with my friends at times and just knowing like, like we felt it so real, like so vivid, like we could see it. Like, like I say, like I say this, I say it all the time, like this shit is, manif it was manifested years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All, everything, you know what I'm saying? Just, just by how everything moving emotions. So it's just like, we just gotta just keep, just keep our grind going and keep, just keep the focus. Maybe yeah. if the homie's straying away, hey, remember, remember we did this, remember we talked about this, let's, let's stay on that goal, you know what I'm saying, that goal line. So I think we're just that like, and just knowing I wanna push, push just the scene forward, like just the drive in me, like yeah, the value yeah. pack, like from everybody, so. Not mm -hmm. saying like they they saying some shit on some shit like, yo, you need to do it type shit. But they know like, I'm I. They know it's the dream. You feel me? Nobody's like it's not it's not pressure, at all. Mm -hmm. It's just really just it just flow so, it's so gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I like that word, man. Graceful. Uh, it's just like true to the area. For sure. Um, how everybody move out here. You know, we definitely need that. Uh, like organization and push forward but it's like just just chill <laughs> yeah. it's just, just kind of you know what I'm saying our time will come so I mean the, the world have been around where they take you know a million years thousand this whatever your belief is but like with man like with what we got going on out here is timeless for sure uh, we talk about just the people that came from here, like what we've done in a small scale um, timeline is, yeah, Crazy. we ain't really got to rush it. Yeah. So, For sure. Yeah, grace. For sure. Yeah, give yourself some grace. So. And time and understanding, for sure. Like, yeah. like I said, I dropped the album, it's called Self Love is the Best Love, right? Because I feel like without love for self, you can't really, you know, love, love the next, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can have an idea of loving yourself and you can, you know what I'm saying, fake the funk, I guess. But if you truly don't love yourself, you really can't really push the effort of love for real, for real. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Or really, like, care for one if you don't really have an idea of even doing it for yourself. Not at all. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. so self-love is the best love is album. So I definitely stand on that principle. Like, if I make myself better as a person, then I can make, my, I can make the people around me better as well. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? So that's definitely, like, you know, something to, like, definitely stand up on, like, so I definitely encourage everybody, you know what I'm saying, self-love, like, just, you know what I'm saying, take some time out to appreciate the shit that you've done. You know what I'm saying, know where you headed to, you feel me? Like, it's yeah. simple, just simple, just uh, simple, just switch a thought, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, let me ask you this, man, how, how do you appreciate yourself? Like, man, how do I appreciate like? myself, man? Just definitely yeah. just basking in everything that I do, you know what I'm saying? Not like, just knowing, like, I put the, I put forth the effort to make, to make change happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got kids, you feel me? I got two beautiful kids, so I definitely want to make sure that I'm good for myself and my children, too. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where, you know, before my kids, where I wasn't this man, you know what I'm saying? Where you have these, uh, you got to go through, like, anger management. You got to go see, like, a therapist and really, like, mask mask down and understand your feelings and your emotions, you feel yeah. me? Before you can get to a way. So knowing that as a man, that I have to understand my emotions and put it in logical form so I can be able to talk to somebody about it. That that definitely helped me in a way, you feel me? So that right there, like, or fucking sitting down reading the book, you know what I'm saying? Giving myself knowledge, going to the studio. I'm saying like, I mean, the work that I do, I try to always do some shit that's fulfilling to me. Like my, whether it's my job, I mean, you got 24 hours in a day, you got to work eight of them. I got to do something, you feel me? I'm not, I don't want to be miserable. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm a caretaker, so you know what I'm saying so I make sure for the first eight hours of my day I'm a caretaker. The last eight hours of my day I'm gonna go to the studio, do something with music. You know what I'm saying do something that's gonna elevate my my future. You know what I'm saying, but not just for me, for the people around me, for my kids, for my family. You know what I'm saying you want people to be proud of you, right? You want people to like, you know what I'm saying, look up to you, right? Like that's just what it is. Like hey. I feel like I'm just a, a leader in that way. 
So I just want to just dwell in that purpose. You know yeah, saying? definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you seem like a very focused man. Like you got your, you know, uh, vision goals pinpointed to like who or what are your inspirations? My inspirations? Sheesh. Um, it could be like personal, business, music, whatever direction you want to take it. It's a lot like in, in different ones, like personally, uh, my pops, my moms. For sure, like they both go getters. They both never like to tear away from what they wanted, despite anything. You know what I'm saying? They're very knowledgeable. Um, I seen them like, you know, I seen I seen them fall and get right the fuck back up and let me know like, you know, this shit ain't over. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, it's a, it's definitely a marathon for sure. And going off the marathon, Nipsey Hussle is one of my uh one of a, a good inspiration. Uh, Jay Z, a great inspiration as well. I say I would even say Drake is a great inspiration. Um, and we talk like business. Uh, Quincy Jones is a great inspiration of mine. Uh, shit, um, what's bro name? Jonah Hill is a great inspiration of mine. Um, Denzel Washington. Shit, we can we can really go. I can kind of <laughs> keep going yeah. on that one. But yeah, I, I do a lot of studies. You feel me? Yeah. Um, when I like wanna paying attention. Yeah, paying yeah. attention. It's like something that I want to like just expand my mind on like I do like crazy studies so I could say like some of my crazy my dopest studies that I've ever done that that definitely was inspiring was I say uh P Diddy was a was a good one Quincy Jones was a good one and Mary J Blige was a great one as well yeah um they definitely push like just spark something in my brain for sure yeah as, uh, my, and then the greats of course Michael Jackson Prince Jimi Hendrix uh shit uh Michael Jordan I'm mm-hmm. saying Kobe Bryant. I'm saying, uh, sheesh. Yeah. I can go. You just, I can, you just I go can, for days. I could. So. I could really go for days. Yeah. You, know, you feel what I'm saying? But like, I, I get inspired by a lot. Even even my peers. You know what I'm saying? Like like my 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 man's last year, He inspired me a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, my mom's my kids inspired me. You know what I'm saying just to just to yeah. be just to be who I am. You know what I'm saying? Because I always wanted just to remind them like, yo, just be who you are. That's yeah. it. You can't go wrong by doing that. You know what I'm saying I can I'm gonna install these these goals these morals in, in you so you know right from wrong for sure but yo, you know, do you you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying at all times so and love and love and don't don't regret it yeah you know what I'm saying so if you made a decision why did you make that decision do you stand on it all right that's what it is yeah so you know. so speaking on standing on something like you know I know I'm pretty sure you done uh released a lot of music um and just kind of feeling your way through it uh, so, what would be, I guess, your favorite project song uh, to date? You know, it was like, all right, then you can start here. You're like, yeah, this is it. But you get a couple years later, it's like, you know, you kind of get into a whole different, you know, mm-hmm. uh, taste, taste of music. So you can kind of expand on that. What are you talking about? Like my my music person, yeah, my music. Yeah, your ah, discography. Shit. So. Yeah. All right, so we go back, shit. Like, all right, let's say, let's say, like, all right, let's do it like this, right? Uh, my daughter's mom had an old record of mine called The Voice, right? My very first mixtape I ever dropped, I think it was 18. Listen to that joint, and it was melodic as hell. Like, it had, um, it had different, it had Erica Badu samples up there, it had poetry in the joint. I was rapping, singing, doing all types of joints. Like I said, I didn't have producers like that, so I was going over the Tiger Beat joint, like the Faded joint. I was, mm-hmm. I did uh, Hate Sleeping Alone by Drake. Uh, it was just so many, I did French Montana. It was so many records, you could just tell the time of that joint. I was like, yo, this shit was, was, was different. You know what I'm saying? Like really, really put me back, like, took me back, like, damn, what the fuck was I on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, as I kept listening to it, it reminded me exactly where I was at yeah. when I was writing that or recording it or wherever. So I was like, damn. And then, and then, like, so from there, and then we go to, I'm not going to go, like, to each project that came after that, but we go, like, everything when we started streaming. Uh, we, I started streaming in 2020 with uh, Truly A Night To Remember. It was like a seven, a seven paid, a seven track joint, and um, I say that joint from now to the new project that's about to come out, maybe. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's it's definitely grown in a way because I was like, like I said, I do a study, right? I remember this one quote Jay Z said. He said, "We got to get the people, you know, teaspoon at a time." You feel me? Just teaspoon. It's a little bit at a time because, and he said, I think he said something like, you know, the, just the brand can't, you know, what I'm saying can't expand on this. You got a whole bunch of greatness. You don't want to just lay it all, out on the table. You want to just make sure you're just giving it. You know, what I'm saying just just one by one. You feel me? So yeah. I was like, okay, that's cool. So taking that and applying that to my life is like, damn, I know I can do this, I know I can do this, I know I can do this, I know I can do that. I know you can do so much shit, right? And you, if, you, if you can do so much shit, why the fuck am I going to just lay it all on the table? You right. feel what I'm saying? So it come with my music, so I really dial back everything. You feel me? Like how lyrical I was, what I was saying, what I was talking about, and really wanted to just put it on yeah. a joint. So Truly and Night Street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Truly and Night to Remember was definitely the first one. Like I opened that I opened that record up with dropping my daughter off at home, right? And right. I asked her what she want for Christmas. And she said she want a unicorn. You know what I mean? Like that. Simple. Then I linked then it then it goes on. So right then I, I knew I wanted to do concept, like almost concept albums, but I wanted to give the people me, but just a little bit at a time. Right, yeah. it's a little bit of time. So the first one was truly nice to remember seven tracks. You got that, and then um, the next the next project after that was uh, self love with the best love, and that one was just that one kind of just shocked me in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because the way that one came came together it wasn't even supposed to happen. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, I come and out, that's pretty much the best uh, creativity yeah. right there. And honestly, yeah. I didn't know that. I learned that through that process. Like, right. because everything that I've always done was always planned, was always uh, dated out. Like, you know, we want to do it like this. We want to do it like this. We want it to look like this. You know what I'm saying? We was always, me and my partner, we always was on that type of that type of, that type type of of time. Like, yeah. what, it, what we wanted to look like, what we wanted to feel like, we wanted to sound like sonically. Because we always, we know we wanted to push. We don't want it to sound like before. We want to push that sound forward. Yeah. So when, when Self Love is the Best Love came, uh, I had just dropped a mixtape called Trench Coats and Cigars on SoundCloud. Just just cuz. You know what I'm saying? We just we just uh started at the Dark Music Group. I just wanted to make sure all of the artists on the platform just had like, you know, equal opportunity. I didn't want to drop while everybody else is dropping. And I still wanted to see what my numbers look like because I didn't drop anything since Truly a Night to Remember. You feel me? Yeah. So it's almost two years since then. Yeah. So we come back That's out. Crazy. Yeah, we come back out. We rebrand. Well, I rebrand with After Dark Music Group. You know what I'm saying? We come back out. We got a new artist. And then I'm just like, okay. So I drop a mixtape just to see what the numbers was like. Numbers was, was definitely, you know, on a low market. I didn't really put the promotion out there. But we had great records. You know what I'm saying? That's how I had Lullaby was up there. Uh, she Don't Know was up there. Um, I had uh, artists like uh, Yasuke was up there. CJ was up there. Uh, Last Show like, was up there. You, you big into features. I, I like I ain't say big, but like I feel like if it's yeah. aesthetically pleasing for the sound in the air, why not? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I love I love working with other artists to where you know what I'm saying. Inspire just, just, you. Yeah, it that inspired me as well. And it, you know what I'm saying? If it if it fits the record, then we locked in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I did a a record called Asshole. Uh, it was called the remix or whatever. And you know I threw my man C J Irvin up there and he, he killed it. You feel me? Like I love I love just sonically sounds. So we took some of those records and put them on Self Love is the Best Love and then a whole bunch of like unreleased records as well. And then I just threw like a few more, like like I think like three more new songs up there. And then I just threw the skits up there and started like just just basking in what was really fucking happening around me. And just took it and coiled it all together with like I make it make sense. Made it make sense. Well it made perfect sense though because when I went out there the ma- the mantra was self love is the best love, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't a thought of, of an album, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Like it was just a series of events that happened, you know what I'm saying, that we still need to fill a void because we needed a, a we needed to drop a, a project. And I was like, man, I just, you know what I'm saying, just came up with something and it made sense. Like we had Paige Joyner came on, she was a part of the album, Donnie Kiss was a part of the album, Scott Free damn near hosted the album, him the poet did a did a poem for the album. Like everybody just literally just came together and just we formed like this Voltron of self love is the best love, and it just gave it to the world. And then it's like it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? So yes. that was dope. So I was just like from that, and then to maybe the project that's about to be released in May, like just sonically different, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just um, sounds, just the beat selection, the story is different. Like like I said, like so it's like 
True to like, like to remember we gave the people like, you know, the out the outlook of, you know, how I am when I'm like probably outside or, you know, dealing with a woman or anything like that in that mm-hmm. time. Self love is the best though, but just reflection of self. You know what I'm saying? The things that I, I'm dealing with with myself. Now maybe we 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 not in a sense questioning that, but just questioning everything that's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe this is for me, maybe it's not. Or maybe the things that are around me is real. Maybe it's not. Like, we really questioning the matrix that's happening around us. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, with, with that, I'm definitely uh, just gearing up for the next couple projects. You feel me? So I still wanted to give the people a piece of my mind in a sense where we're not partying. We're not really... It's like, my, not my heart no more, but just really like my brain. And what yeah. I've been thinking versus what I'm feeling. You feel yeah, me? Because yeah, I, yeah. I want I want if somebody else thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. You feel me? Like yeah. it's close up there. Like infatuation ain't love. You feel me? It's close up there. Like um, maybe this is for me. Maybe it's not. Uh, these niggas can't ride my way. Just can't ride my way. You feel me? Like we getting into that whole ego and we stripping it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So and it's yeah, just. Yeah. I mean, you you definitely yeah. gotta like kind of lean into that because mm-hmm. people don't really have that mind. Like, it's really kind of like a, it's like, oh, that's a little too deep. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah deep It'll or open com- for It can get me. complex, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but, like, people don't be trying, like, try to act all hard. It's just like, man, you got to let your feelings out there because we all out here together, community. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, we all trying to figure this shit out. And for everybody sure. try, to, try to act all sentimental when tragic situations go down. I'm like... Yeah, you you got ample time right in this moment to appreciate other people. Facts. So, and that's kind of a part of how and and why I approach you know this how I approach it. So, so I want to salute you. Um, you know, give you your flowers. Um, just you know, appreciate your your artwork, your your art, and you as a person, what you're doing for the area I and for yourself. Because I mean, it's like one day is. This is gonna be that one day. So For sure. Yeah, like you say, you get open and deep. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna go there with you. So absolutely, like, absolutely. So I mean, bro, I got I got life and death tattered on my arms, bro. Yeah. With a live rose and death. It, dead, it bro, is bro. what like, it is, man. He's just laying into it, man. But it's like, just life. The cycle is yeah. life. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So Indeed. Yeah. But um yeah, so I just want uh we got like, in a few minutes, but want to let you kind of um you know expand on any other points that we didn't hit um right. you know that we haven't you know touched on so we can make sure we get we touch on them all right yeah. well shit maybe coming out in may feel me um we gonna let tour. it out man everybody gonna... trying to be all yeah hey <laughs> let it out secret of yeah. gotta let it out maybe man. coming out in may i don't got the exact date yet um it's gonna be fucking dope we got uh we got some dope features up there. Uh, we connected with some dope ass uh, producers on that motherfucker. Uh, I, it's a secret, like all that's a secret, but it's gonna come in due time with promotion. Uh, we on tour right now, the Forever Fresh tour. Uh, we just did Philly, shut that bitch down. DJ, shout out to DJ Juski, he picked us for the uh, the pick of the week for Hot 97. So we're gonna be having our music spin on there as well. Um, we in Delaware on the fifteenth. Uh, we in Delaware on the fifteenth. We host an art house on the 13th. Uh, Forever Fresh gonna be there on the 13th. To be back at doing the ODU takeovers, we'll work hard, play harder. Um, on the 18th, yeah, on the 18th of March. All right. Um, yeah, man. Uh, we on tour right now with Pat Rollo, Brandon Khalil, Lash Larue. Um, and just shout out, shout out to everybody doing their thing. You feel me? Uh, I am the CEO part owner at the Dark Music Group. Um, shout out to my partner Mike Lopez. We just out here just doing our thing, just trying to make sure we connecting everybody in a way to where they can be heard and be, you know, just doing anything. We got a roster, Lash the Rules on the roster, Judy KO is on the roster, Ovi Ghostface is on the roster, myself is on the roster. Um and we just out here just diversifying uh the goods, you feel me? Um just making sure that the music is being being heard, like I just said, and you know what I'm saying, just just expounding on everything that we're doing and making sure that it's being felt as well as it's being heard. Um Yeah, man. Uh we sh- we gonna be doing this shit all year. Um I'm hosting for Ooh Sticky, you feel what I'm saying? We hosting for work hard, play hard, make sure every artist tap in on those platforms, you get on that stage, do your motherfucking thing. Um 
yo, it's some dope shit coming this year, son. Some dope, dope, dope shit coming this year. Um, I'm excited for everybody that I've met, you know what I mean? Um, I'm excited for the journey, for the, the growth of VA. You know what I'm saying? They would just talk about something in the water. Um, something in the water is going to be fucking fantastic. Make sure y'all capitalize on, on, the, the, on the shit that's coming out here. If you're an artist, get your merch up. Get your music out there. Make sure you have fun, too. Go, go see all that shit. Soak it all up. Because it's, it's an experience. You feel me? Um, work hard. Work, 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 work hard. Play harder. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a drop, but it's still a slogan. You feel me? Yeah. Do your shit. You feel me? Uh, self-love is the best love. Uh, it's out now. Make sure you go listen to that. You got any words, we got? Last the rule, you want to say anything? Want to say what's up to the people? You can go ahead and say what's up. Go right say what's up to the Come people, on. man. This is the dog, Lash LaRue, man. Up, man. You feel me? He just you. dropped what? Yeah. Strange New Love Affair yeah. is out right now. Yep. Do yep. what you yep. got to do is out right now. Yep. 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 She um, don't know. She don't know is out right now. It's still, it's still the hottest thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So make sure y'all, y'all tap in. The video is out right there, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, no coattails. Make sure you go listen to that. Yep. Um, How She Roll is out right now. Shout out to my man, Brandon Khalil. Better Than Yesterday is out right now. V Star. Is out right now with Pat Rollo. Uh, we got the LaRue is coming out soon. Yes, um, uh, maybe it's dropping in May. Uh, we just, you know what I'm saying? We just working. We just trying to do what we got to do for the people. Tap in with us at the Dark Music Group. We are a distribution and promotion team. Um, we just trying to make sure we link you guys to the great people that's around us, that's surrounding us, and that's, you know, just put a blanket around us with support, love, you know what I'm saying, prosperity. Uh, and we just wish, you know what I'm saying, the best for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. That's right? Yeah. That's right, yeah. man. Shout out to Tidewater Waves, man. After that music group. <laughs> Chewy Fresh. You feel me? Get your merch from me, Brandon Khalil, Pat Rollo. Catch us in Delaware. Yeah. And catch one of the shows, man. Hella bands dropping soon. Yeah. 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 Did I miss anything? Shout out to you. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, New York. New York. We will be in New York soon. Yeah. The tour is coming in New York. So yeah. that's the drop. Only on Tidewater Waves. Uh, we're going to drop them dates soon, okay? That's season That's three. Bad. We'll be in New York City, so. Yeah. But with yeah. us. Yeah. Truly so. Fresh, Lash Rue, After Dark Music Group. Hey, yeah. Forever Fresh. Yeah, Top appreciate y'all pulling up. You know, no doubt, dog. We appreciate you, man. Hey, but you say, uh, soak up the self-love. Soak up the self-love. Yo, shout out to Sushi, too. Because without Sushi, I, I seen I seen his his interviews. That's what I wanted to tell you. I seen, I seen my man gang. Sushi, Sushi Gang. Yeah, my I went boy. to high school, bro, too. You feel me? Right. So, yeah. Uh, man, shout out to Sushi Gang. A few years yeah. ago. So, you've been tapped in. Bro, I've been tapped in, bro. Sheesh. Like, way back. Way, shout way out back. Everybody, so, shout out to Sushi Gang, man. That's why I say that man. for last. I ain't shout you out when I'm shouting out all the Northview heads, bro. Because I wanted to say that for last, bro. Without, nice. without, without you, bro, I wouldn't even be in the seat right now. So, shout out to you, bro. Nice. All day. I mean, just doing my part out here, man. It's, it's all about you. Love, bro. So, we appreciate yeah. that. Thanks, yeah, yeah. All right, that's bad. This ain't our last time. We can nah. get it in again. I'm probably bringing Forever uh, Fresh up here. You know okay. I mean? yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, hey, let's let's continue to create. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, that's the bad. Truly Fresh, and we out. We out, baby. Just a kiss before goodbye. And the song before